Hi, I'm James Molesworth, Senior Editor at Wine Spectator and Lead Taster for the Wines of Chile. Recently I sat down with Alexandra Manier La Pastole, owner of Chile's Casa La Pastole and one of my favorite vintners. She brought with her a vertical of her top wine, the Cloa Palta, and we tasted it here in our New York office. From the debut 97 vintage through the 2004, each one demonstrated the wine's distinctive character of concentrated plum and tobacco flavors with a really silky mouthfeel. So I hope you'll join us as we talk about La Pastole's Cloapalta with Alexandra Manier La Pastole. When I arrived in Chile, people told me, oh, you're going to see. It's fantastic because here we are producing a great wine with uh, high yields. Mm. So I said, oh, uh, <laughs> very interesting. It's, uh, so it's paradise. Uh, let's see. But in fact, uh, there is no secret and uh, uh, you have to have low yields. How did you find the vineyard that uh, produces this wine? One day we arrived in uh, Apaltan, in the Colchagua Valley, and it was, uh, we started to walk in that vineyard, and it was completely different from uh, what we saw before, because the, the vines uh, were uh, first very old, but also they were dry farmed, and they had natural low yields. So you have some vines, I believe, that are about 100 years old, and others that are 70, 80 years old in the vineyard. Yes. And that is the majority of the particular plot that goes into this wine. Absolutely. The vines, when they were planted in 1920, were irrigated, but after that, they detour the canal to use the water for a village. And so this was the first time I saw um, uh, vineyards uh, like this. This first was possible there because um, there is a water table. In Chile, the climate is uh, very dry, mm -hmm. and if you don't irrigate, uh, uh, the vine will die. But so here, uh, because of that water table, the vines could survive. So this is something that reminded you of uh, vineyards that you saw in France, and that connection was what drew you to the place? Absolutely. So you really have a unique situation there in Apalta, something on a lower yielding hillside site, which is generally considered better, yes. and old vines that are already yeah. in place. So yeah. you sort of lucked out buying this vineyard. Yes. <laughs> when I arrived, for example, in Apalta, the, the grapes were sold to big wineries mm -hmm. and were completely lost. Right. Um, and uh, you had that jewel and nobody knew. Mm -hmm. And so, well, we said, okay, we're going to try one, uh, well, let's do one harvest, and we'll see the result, and, uh, and we'll see. So, now I think that Chilean people are really uh, much uh, uh, aware that they have some jewels in, uh, in their land, mm -hmm. and that they have to, to enhance those jewels. Is there a classic Chilean dish or preparation of lamb that, that you like with the cola palta? Oh, I like it really, uh, how do you say, tic tac, uh, okay. with rosemary and... Uh, uh, grilled lamb, rosemary. Grilled, right. grilled on, um, on the wood of the uh, vines. That well, we, we all don't have the wood of the vines to grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, guess, no yeah, sorry. Some of us okay. just have charcoal. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but it's perfect. <laughs>